Yo, is that? Hey, yo, guys. We finally got a new Animal Crossing update, and it was actually amazing. I love everything that they added into the game, and there's so many additions to talk about, and I won't be able to go through all of it since I want to release this video out today. But this actually looks like enough to bring me back into the game because it's been a while since I actually picked it up. I love the additions of the Brewster coming back. I love all the new items. But the biggest addition for me is the new shops at Harv's Island. Hopefully, that means I can get even more red drops. That would make me so happy. That was part of the reason why I stopped playing. I had the worst drops in the shop. And on the daily when you're supposed to go out and see red, I would always miss them. God. And oh yeah, there's waves in the game now. Not those kind of waves, these kind of waves. But they also added a hairstyle that's more similar to mine in real life. So I'm actually excited about that. I just wish there was a bit more of quality of life updates, but there was just enough. They added more storage for your house, so that's a welcome addition. And now you have the ability to squeeze through tight spots in your house. So now your house is visually beautiful and also accessible. And then also the ordinances was another great addition because I know my friend's going to love that because he loves to play at night. I might just do the same and just keep the night ordinance too. I just wish they added like a quantity button or something to make crafting a lot faster, you know, when you're trying to craft a lot of things at one time. But they didn't. But I guess that's okay because we got the froggy chair. But if we're talking about buttons, can you guys please hit that like button? That would help me so much. Thanks, you guys. But yeah, it was insane that they gave all this additional content for us for free. And they mentioned that. They were like, don't forget what we did for y'all. But this is the last freebie you'll get. We're going to expect a little something next time. And they did not take their time to reveal that paid DLC. Boy. It's basically the happy home designer from the Wii U just being brought over. So it's time to cross that out of the games that we need to be ported to the Switch. Come on, Wind Waker HD. But yeah, the paid DLC actually looks great. Because of all the customizations that they added, which I wish made it to the island, it's so much more streamlined and quick, which would help me redesign the hell out of my island once I get back to it. And the idea of getting out of your comfort zone and making different designs for different tastes is such a nice change of pace. But they also added schools and restaurants, and the best part is that the villagers actually get to interact with it, making it feel so much more alive. This is a very much wanted feature that we've all wanted in Animal Crossing, which once again, I hope that this makes it onto the damn island. Well, anyways, let's actually get onto pricing. Ooh. And it's a little steep, man. It's a whole $24.99. I think it's just a little subtle hidden charge for that huge free update that we're getting, which both the free and the paid DLC come out on November 5th. While all these new additions and features are some big wants that I want in my Animal Crossing games, I do play a lot of games, so I don't know if I'll have the time to invest in this, but that's when they drop the bomb on us. The Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack pricing. I was still waking up, but I couldn't wrap my head around the new price. I was like, $50? What does this have to do with Animal Crossing? But the Animal Crossing paid DLC is actually included with the expansion pack, but the expansion pack is $50. And man, that's a lot. But it does kind of help that you get the paid DLC with it for the first year. But what, afterwards, we're going to pay $50? Man, I thought $24.99 was steep for the DLC, but the NSO also, what? Nintendo Switch Online does the bare minimum. The online multiplayer for the Switch is just barely okay. I mean, the main online game for the Switch is Super Smash Bros. And the online multiplayer is awful for that. But paying $20 for the NSO is already a stretch, but adding N64 games for $30 more? I was thinking that $34.99 would be the most that they would have charged for the expansion pack, but Nintendo's really driving us by the neck. But it's interesting that they're adding the Animal Crossing paid DLC with the expansion pack because that really does help with the price hike, but only if you care about Animal Crossing, so it doesn't help out everybody. But could this be a trend? Hmm, hear me out. What if Nintendo does this every year where they throw in some paid DLC for the expansion pack? What if we never get Mario Kart 9, so we just get an expansion for Mario Kart 8 with additional cups and racers, and it's thrown in with the, you know, the expansion pack? Or, you know, just the Breath of the Wild 2 paid DLC, because I imagine they're going to do that. But like I said, this won't be a fix for everybody, but for some of us, that would help with the price increase. So for now... The expansion pack is way overpriced. And I'm not happy about it because I'm going to upgrade because I want those N64 games. God, why am I like this? But if you have no nostalgic connection for the N64, I don't recommend this. I do and I already ordered the N64 controller, so you know I'm in it. I didn't order the Genesis controller though because I'm going to Japan and I'm going to go with their version instead since it seems to be the superior version. But if you're on the fence about it, I can see why. That $30 price increase is insane. You can stick with the regular NSO for 20 bucks and basically have the same experience as I will. I mean, if you're not going to play N64, 64 games why even pay the price jump but i'm so jealous because you're so much more disciplined than me but yeah guys let me know what got you most excited about the animal crossing update there's a lot they went over there's so much to talk about and are you guys going to be upgrading to the expansion pack or are you going to pass on it let me know what you really feel about that price increase and if you made it this far into the video please do consider subscribing that would be awesome and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching i appreciate you